Hey everybody, CCJ editor Jason Cannon here. I don't know if you've noticed the uniqueness of what is behind me. There's a couple of things. You don't see a lot of cab overs very often, and you for sure don't usually see a Hyundai this big very often. But here we are, nice big cab over, nice big Hyundai. Martin, tell us a little bit about what we've got in this truck right here. Yeah, so uh, we have uh, our Hyundai XCN fuel cell tractor. This is their first mass production vehicle for Hyundai into the US. This is a tractor for day cab operations and then it's fuel cell technology. So on this tractor, we have uh, 70 kilograms of gaseous hydrogen on board and we produce uh, with two fuel cell stacks underneath the cab, which you'll be driving pretty soon, 180 kilowatt hour power. We have approximately a 450 miles of range on a fully loaded truck and trailer, and then we've tested and driven in Southern California. Currently, we have 30 trucks in Norco, which are driven by GET Freight on the Norco project. But essentially how it works is we have hydrogen on board, and then we have a hydrogen fuel cell stacks, which produce an electricity through a chemical reaction. That electricity is separated within the stacks and then it's used to drive the electric motor. Currently, we have 350 kilowatt hour Dana motor attached to a transmission, and it's pretty much central in between the chassis. So and just to be clear, a hydrogen truck is still a battery electric truck, right? That it's is just correct. an add-on component to the battery electric part. Yes. So uh, basically speaking, uh, what we're doing is, instead of having a huge mass battery attached to the chassis, we have hydrogen on board that is converted to electricity through the fuel stacks. So that is the main powertrain for our truck. So that's what produces the most of electricity to keep running. We have a 72 kilowatt hour high voltage battery attached to the side of the chassis. So it's actually used for, in this case, maybe going up the hills. So it makes the truck more efficient when driving. Sounds really sophisticated, but let's get inside and let's take a lap. So Martin and I just finished what you would probably call a hot lap around the Las Vegas Convention Center, roughly the size of a, maybe a medium sized city block. You don't get tons of ride impressions from something like that. Obviously we also, we don't have a trailer, but the differences between this truck and a conventional diesel are substantial. I mean, and some of them are obvious. We, we don't have a nose, for example. We've been away from cab overs for about close to 40 years. And then here is Hyundai with a cab over and they're not the only cab over here at the act expo so you know, when you talk to fleets and obviously this is not a conventional tractor how do you push through the education and the knowledge that you know the rest of the world runs cab overs you know conventionals are kind of a foreign concept to a lot of people but in the u.s it's it's really just sort of the way business happens so how do you spool that information out to the potential customers to say you know what th this is a viable truck you used to drive them a generation ago and this is kind of the future right some of the things that we try to do as uh, us is just try to get drivers into the driver's seat because that's what they do for a living right i mean it's obviously a learning curve they have to take some time into the cab in this case, one of the reasons the cab overs were sort of pushed back was due to noise and heat, which now on this type of technology with this type of truck is sort of removed, right? We have a very quiet uh, cab in this truck and there's not a lot, as much noise as before. And also there's not as much heat produced like back in the days. I think and one of the obvious positives is safety and maneuverability, right? I mean, you, know, you don't have a nose. You've got a lot of visibility because the, the seat is just so much higher. Yeah. And the maneuverability, you know, the, the seat basically sits on top of, maybe slightly ahead of the axle. So, you know, turning in this truck is, it couldn't be any easier. So yeah. as far as drive experiences go, I wish I had more time. I wish I had more miles. Um, but you know, it's quiet. Uh, I can uh, fully understand that we've removed all of the heat, we've removed all of the noise. It's, it's an easy drive. I think once you get a little bit used to the taller stance and you know, climbing in and out of this thing is not easy. I'm, I'm not a tall guy and those stairs are pretty vertical, but I think once you learn, you know, how to do the things that basically the rest of the world does, this is absolutely a viable future technology.